All right, sis, we are technically halfway through 2021 already. And if you are still stressed out, if you are still cluttered in a disorganized mess, just keep on watching. Sacred friends, thank you so much for tuning in for another video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Maggie, and I do all types of self care, spiritual care, skincare type of videos. So, if that's something you may be interested in, I would love for you to stick around by hitting that subscribe button so that you never miss another upload. So, in today's video, I want to talk about seven things to declutter out of your life that we just don't need anymore that is causing our stress, that's causing our anxiety, okay? So let's go ahead and jump into these tips now. So my first thing I want us to start really decluttering, and that is social events, okay? Quarantine is starting, you know, to be a little more lenient, and more and more functionings are happening, you know, every day, every week. And since you are not inclined to go to any one of them, okay? Period, sis. <laughs> of course, you have that choice if you want to, but don't ever feel like you're inclined, you know, to be obligated to something, you know, unless you made a promise and, you know, that's another story. But all of these other commitments that is just not bringing you any value, that's not making you happy, that's cutting into your me time, self-care time, mm -mm, that has to go. That's definitely something to start decluttering today. All right, my second thing I want us to start decluttering out of our life and that is too many thoughts, okay? Too many bad thoughts, too many negative thoughts. What makes y'all be so negative? What is the problem? Please let me know, DM me why you so negative. I will try to help you. We can talk about this. Why are y'all so negative? Y'all are some negative ass people. Thoughts that the enemy wants us to think, thoughts that the enemy is planting there, you know? We have to declutter and re-filter our brains, right? We have to re-filter and fill our minds and our brains, right? And our thoughts back up with wisdom and with the word of God, you know? And something that's a value, something that's going to help us, right? Because who just wants to be a negative Nancy all the time, right? And be controlled by, you know, the evil one. Like, no, we have that choice to fill our, to fill our minds up with positivity, right? And good things, right? Because the Bible, the scripture is full of good things and good promises made unto us already so let's start to declutter those thoughts too all right my third thing i want us to start decluttering okay this video is going to get a little deep okay and that is regret are you holding on to any regret or any type of grudge or any ill will towards anybody okay you cannot invite blessings into your into your life like that you cannot be faithful and and fearful at the same time right i know that's right <laughs> And God will not bless us. And it clearly says in the Bible over and over again how we must forgive. So just think, you know, any type of regret or anything that you're harboring on, anything that it is that you can't change, you know, something that happened in the past, something that happened to you, maybe it's something that you've done, you know, that you're harboring and you're beating yourself up over, okay? God says to cast your cares, okay? He wants us to live abundantly. He has joy. He gets joy from our prosperity, okay? So any regret, any ill will, you have to cast it to God. You have to forgive and you have to just let it go, okay? And watch God bless you and have justice on your behalf, okay? Now, I think I just touched on this a little bit, but number four is guilt. Maybe you feel bad or you feel sad. Maybe you're not doing enough, right? You feel like I'm not a good wife or I'm not a good mother or, you know, I'm not as far as I want to be you know you are exactly exactly where god wants you to be okay period sis <laughs> and let's just say you know you haven't been you know on this walk with god you haven't really acknowledged him god will meet you where you are says god will meet you where you where you at okay all you have to do is acknowledge him and call upon him and ask for forgiveness and repent and 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 literally every other thing and it won't be easy okay i know we all have been through something you know that's, that's causing these feelings right and that's sticking to us okay but god is here god is our ever present help and he does not want us to harbor or, or, or dwell on, on all that negative stuff that we can't change, right? So why not cast it onto the only person who could do something about it, okay? So guilt is another one. All right, my fifth thing that I want us to start decluttering out of our lives, and that is items that make you feel sad or guilty, okay? Now this can be really any form, but yeah, you'll be surprised how many people just have all types of things that represent death, you know, and, and things that represent like the bad things in their life, like 
people hold on to things from bad relationships or people hold on to things you know from somebody who died you know and, and it was very hurtful even though yeah it's good to have that you know memory of them and maybe you have like ashes or you have like jewelry or something like that but if it's too hard guys if it just crushes you every time you look at it or you can't you know seem to handle it or it's not really serving any purpose anymore other than hurting you and keep bringing back that same memory then that can be definitely be a cause of your you know depression or your sadness or you know whatever it is that you're going through sis okay oh my goodness i'm so embarrassed don't be embarrassed they love you always remember that don't feel bad you know because that person might have died or something bad happened or you know you, you get what i'm saying like you have to purge some of the stuff if it's interfering with your happiness and your joy okay oh all right y'all number six and i cannot stress this enough we have to start decluttering people who drain you physically financially mentally those people just have to go okay and we can do this in a respectful way okay god tells us to um to, to look towards him you know and and stop being a people pleaser right and stop of course it's you want to you know care about their feelings you know and and how did you want to end that relationship or whatever but we have to really start acknowledging folks for who they are and who they continue to show us you know who they are i guess nothing's changed nothing's changed i don't care if it's your mother <laughs> i don't care if it's your mama i don't care if it's your big brother i don't care if it's your cousin i mean we really have to start looking at our inner circle okay because the inner circle the people who we're around the most is who we become the most alike okay so we have to make sure that we're editing and we are you know taking a, a good look at our circle okay and get to decluttering and last but not least my seventh thing that i really want us to start decluttering is excess tasks that we do so putting too much stuff on our own plate okay <laughs> And what I really mean is get some help for when you're decluttering, right? So when you're cleaning and if you have a, you know, if you have children, a spouse, you know, get some help when it's needed, okay? Stop overexerting yourself. Yes, we're mother. Yes, we're a nourisher. But um, God made rest for everybody, right? So mom, get that rest. Get that help. I don't know what I would do without my um, part-time nanny. I mean, honestly, she is a lifesaver. And if you are grateful enough to have uh parents or grandparents or people friends siblings who can help out who can come by who can help with the kids help with dinner and just take a little bit of that load off and that pressure off of you says watch the stress just melt away right watch the gratefulness and the thankfulness start to you know come and make you want to help more and you know you'll have more rest right and more energy to really really give back and give back to the people and the things that you love the most right which is your family and your household those were seven quick little tips that i wanted us to really put into perspective because we are in that spring season we are in that season of renewal and decluttering right and spring cleaning all that good stuff this time that we declutter every area of our lives okay may is approaching again we are approaching our second half have, right of the year and yes it starts to start to do something different okay and it starts by decluttering and clearing your space and having a nice clear canvas on life okay and it should always start with the word all right i love you guys so so much thank you so much for tuning in for this video give it a big old thumbs up if you thought it was helpful and yes don't forget to subscribe on your way to the next video i love you guys <laughs>